Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We have another Ben's haul for yes, you guys. Kathy <laughs> went to the Ben's yesterday and it was so good. She just wanted to share with you guys. I know it has been a while. <laughs> Well, you're hyping it up so much. I mean, there was a couple of cool things. It's mostly regular stuff. Well, I'm hyping it up because you were hyped yesterday. Yes, I, I did find some cool stuff. Yeah. So. yeah. All right. We do have a Ben's haul, but first yeah. we wanted to think it was what, Sherilyn? I believe it's Sherilyn. If we're saying that wrong, I'm so sorry. Um, she bought us two coffees since the last vid and said the spreadsheet is top notch. Thank you so much. Awesome. So if you guys didn't know, we do have a free reseller spreadsheet download in the description. Yeah, um, helps keep track of your stuff. It's good to, good yeah. to do. <laughs> um, then, thank you so much for the support and sorry if we got your name wrong. Yes, please let us know in the comments. <laughs> um, I guess we're gonna do a mini what sold first because mostly I wanted to show you guys this, but then I'm like, well, I already have my sales. I might as well just show all of them, right? This is a sale, that's why I wanted to. Okay, so I went to, the, this bin's all <laughs> came from yesterday. This shirt was in a bin's that we did not record that I got like two or three days ago. Right. But the brand is, well, the brand is Forever That Girl, but it's was sold at Anthropology. This is the Anthropology so, one you were showing me. Yeah, it is no tag, but it's, you know, it was from the bin. So <laughs> <laughs> anyways, this got listed and sold within a day for $49 on eBay. So awesome. My whole bin's this day was like 80 bucks. So that covered more than half of it. Um, so that was that. That was a great sale. Yes. And then I sold these. <laughs> we were talking about these on our live. Yeah. I don't know how you say it. Geox is what I kind of came to, but uh, G uh, Geox <laughs> doesn't sound right. <laughs> but yeah. So these ones I haven't printed the label yet, but they're going out to Scott over at Shiching King. Great Shout guy. Shout out Scott. Um, he bought them. For ninety-five dollars and sixty-six cents. So thank you so much, Scott. Yes. Um, those I actually retail arbitrage from Ross just a few days ago for twenty bucks. So mm -hmm. yeah. Scott, thank you so much for the support. All the support. Yes. Hope you, you like the I shoes. Mean, if you're here, you I'm a hundred percent sure you see Scott's channel. <laughs> but if you haven't, yeah. please go subscribe to him. He yep. is the best dude ever. Um, all right, and then these little Robies sold for $8.66 plus ship. These I mainly bought for Once Upon a Child, but they did not accept them, I think. Yeah. They had, like, the Goodwill wrote in a Sharpie on the bottoms of oh. them, and this isn't, like, a sole, like, rubber that you could just wipe it off. So I just Sharpied over the $2 that the Goodwill had on them. Yep. I didn't pay $2. I paid Ben's pricing for these, so they weigh, like, an ounce. So basically nothing into $8.66. Okay, so they still sold with all the Sharpie on the bottom? Yeah. Yep, and then I should have labels for the rest of these. Sorry, we, we weren't planning on doing them what's what I was just <laughs> like, uh, let me just show them. Yeah. Um, uh, these are a pair of natural, oh, I didn't write how much I bought stuff for. Well, I guess- You got I a good memory. I don't really know anymore anyways. <laughs> yeah, so these are naturalizer. I don't remember if these are from the bins. <laughs> I have such a good memory, I don't remember. <laughs> um, worst case, I probably, I wouldn't have paid more than like eight bucks for naturalizer. Yeah. I also didn't write, I'm sorry guys, I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> didn't because write how I, much it sold for. I wasn't doing a what sold, yeah, I didn't write on my labels what they sold for, <laughs> so let's see. I'll just well, while she looks that up, check out Reese again. He's here <laughs> bundled up. Hi Reese, be right. judge a good boy. We'll just scroll my eBay here. So 21.71 plus ship for those. Nice. Um, this. I just bought because it was at the bins and it weighed hardly anything. I love throwing this kind of stuff in. The brand is Nathan. It's called a um, slim running belt bag thing. So it's just oh, okay. like a fanny pack, but very, very slim. Um, so for 1301 plus shipping in just a few days. Like holds your keys and wallet and stuff, probably. Yeah. Um, so these Skechers for 1736 plus shipping. I don't think these were from the bin, so I don't <laughs> think that was a whole lot of profit on those. And I sold these Salomon shoes. I do remember these I paid $9 for, and they sold for 30 41 plus shipping. They did take a while, they're women's six though, I think that's why. Okay. And these ones are from Poshmark. Um, some Crocs, like, Cars Lightning McQueen from the bin sold for 26 on Posh. That was an offer someone sent. And these, if you come to our lives, you already saw that we sold the Freebirds that I stole from someone at the bin. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> uh, 
That was a good bit. It's a, well, yeah. If you want to go, you should link it here. because I don't know if I'll be able to find it. Okay. I don't know if I'll be able to remember what it was. Yeah. Probably in the last 10 Ben's Halls that we've done. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I don't know. It was a, It's probably the one that says like $500 an hour on the screen. So oh, okay. I think it might have been that one. But anyways, that was just a really good Ben's Hall in general. But yeah, the girl... So you were digging the bins digging the for bins. yourself. You yeah. find these, you reach for them. In the back of your head, you heard somebody Jeez. say, hand me those white yeah. ones as you're grabbing for them for yourself. <laughs> right. So she's not necessarily talking to me, but right. whoever would give her the white ones. Yeah. Which I wasn't going to. <laughs> so, um, so Kathy yeah. basically got in a brawl. If you, and, no. <laughs> if you go to the bins, you know, I mean... Yeah. You're not going to get everything that you want to get at the bins. You just, whoever's there first, that's how it goes. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, thanks for $80 someone offered. They've been listed probably about six months at this point, so I was happy to accept. Yeah. 80 bucks. Sweet. So, so that's the what sold portion <laughs> of, of this yeah. video. All right, I'll just set this here. I actually got this at the bins. Yeah, check that out. I just thought it was cute. I mean, I'm not going to, I might sell it eventually if yeah. I don't like it. I like it if, just for here. Yeah. I'm just here. <laughs> you just sit in your office. Because it's so comfortable. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, just... Don't let me sit in that thing. <laughs> so this is a little bit heavy, but it was $8 at the bench just based on the weight. Yeah. Um, so. Oh, they didn't do like a furniture piece price or anything? Um, no. Yeah. Do they have that? I don't know. I would I assume. Know. I've never bought really furniture from them. I thought maybe like larger pieces they do like a, yeah. maybe like a deal. I just know that they do. Yeah. Over eight pounds is like $8 up to like 15 pounds or something. All right. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes. So we do, yeah. Yeah, we do have the, work. we have the bins kind of prepared as per usual. Per usual. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use first couple bags that mainly clothes. This is Ava and Bib, so Target's like plus size line, 2X. I just thought this was a nice color yeah. jacket. Um, I want to take it to buy so trade, but I don't think they're like really buying much of this kind of stuff right now. And I don't want to like hold stuff for months unlisted to wait like till they're buying fall. So I don't know. I'm probably going to take it, but they're probably not going to take it. Yeah, I take it. And if they don't, then you'll list here. it. But I think this I could sell on my own for at least like 25 bucks. So um, I feel like I found a good amount of kid stuff. This is for once upon a child, little Adidas. This I just bought because it was new, but it's a kid size. So for once upon a child, GB yeah. girls, I don't even know where that's from. Yeah, I feel like the color's not showing <laughs> right on the camera. It's neon green. Yeah, it's much more green than it looks on the camera. <laughs> this is so cute. It's just genuine kids Oshkosh, but little like Baja. That's cool. I like those retro Baja colors. Yeah. yeah, the Baja colors. So once upon a child, this all list on my own. It's Wrangler. Um, it's Wrangler workwear, but like FR. Rigs, fire resistant a, or retardant. Just a denim shirt, but being fire thing, I'm sure this is at least 20. <clears throat> Where's my list, my own I don't know if you've set one up yet. On um, this one has list on my own. All right. Don't expect um, me to remember that. <laughs> uh, this is Tor, it just says, but first coffee. Might try that at the buy sell trade, Uptown Cheapskate. The last time I brought them a bin said, we loved all your plus size stuff. So yeah. hopefully they'll take some of this. This isn't in great shape. It does have some pilling. What would you call that? Is that heathered? Uh, what would you call yeah, that? I was wondering. It almost, it's, it's like. It's not like it's tie dye I don't know what I call it. Yeah, bleach. but I was thinking more tie dye or bleach. Yeah, I don't know if this has an actual term, but. Yeah. It's meant If to you know in that. the comments, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to know. It's almost like acid washed <laughs> or something. <laughs> Um, I don't know what school this is. Is it a school or is <laughs> I'm just... Let me see it. Uh, MCU? No, Ma CMU. Mavericks. CMU? Mavericks? Okay. I don't know. I was thinking it was the Washington football team. Okay. Just because it says you. <laughs> I was assuming yeah. it's college, right? Yeah. So someone will tell us if I... I'm probably going to have this listed by the time you guys ever see this video, but... <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that's... What is that? Why would it... Have a tie. So you could tie it to your ponytail. Is that what? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, that's what came to my mind, but like, that it. I've never seen a hat with that before. I really don't know. Huh. Anyways, that's probably at least 10 bucks, but I'll have to list that. <laughs> Make sure your hat's tied on. Local. I don't think it's local. That's not local. Anyways, this is Tori, a little tank top. So we'll start that at buy, sell, trade. Cool. When I'm saying buy, sell, trade, 
it means either Play-Dohs or Uptown Jeepskate. Yeah. I don't, it's, I don't know which one I'm going to take it to first. Right. Yeah. Sometimes you do. Sometimes. Yeah. This time I'm just putting it all in one bin. Yeah. So. Um, by the way, for my furniture fund, I, we haven't really updated. I think I'm over $1,200, so. Wow. Just in like two months, just since right before Christmas, so. That's pretty good. Just that thinking is. That this is on top of my listing. 100 items a week and selling my normal amount of stuff. So that's pretty good, right? Yeah. I know. <laughs> so I was just going to say that because I can only take one bin to Uptown Cheap Skid a week. Yeah. That's their rule. Well, you can take four bins, probably two of these size bins, but I've only been taking one. Um, but I've been going to Play-Doh sometimes two or three times a week. That's why. Yeah. I was saying that. I've been going a lot. <laughs> so anyways, this is Gap Kids for Once Upon a Child. Once Upon a Child is still my fave. They take almost everything I bring them. Yeah. All right. I did check out twice yesterday just because I didn't want to take my card out and I needed more sorting space. So this half was $100.51. I think the other half is about $120. So okay. about $220 for everything. Uh, this is DC. Like a nice snowboard jacket. I feel like someone threw this back and I checked it over so well. I mean, I think that's on purpose. Thumb holes, I think. I guess somebody could have. No, that must be thumb holes, right? On purpose. Probably. Has the other one got it? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like someone could have cut it, but why would they have this piece if it wasn't for the most? I don't know. I mean, I'll show it. I don't know if Yeah, I can up. imagine that goes in under your glove. Yeah. And the thumb hole is to hold it in place. It has a little wear there, but I think that's fine. Yeah. I don't know. I've done okay with like DC snowboarding here, so. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. I think it's. Medium. Women's medium. I think this is women's. Right? Ladies left. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm having a hard time seeing it. Um, this is a little heavy. I want to take it to buy sultry, but it just, I don't know how much they would give me. I could probably sell this for over 30 on my own. I'll probably just list it. Um, this though, Obermeyer, could also probably sell for 30 plus on its own, but once upon a child, I feel like they pay out pretty well on snow gear and I prefer to just not sell it myself. So. Yeah. Is it just the kid stuff that you not don't like to sell that much? I don't like snow selling at all. Snow gear. Really, yeah. it just takes up a lot of space. It usually is slightly flawed somewhere that it's hard to notice. Yeah. And I don't know. I mean, I like that it sells for a good amount, but I mm -hmm. don't actually like. It's extremely <laughs> seasonal, right? Yeah. Um, this is Carhartt FR, just like a pearl snap. I don't really know. How much the shirts go for, but I would say probably at least 20, so all this stuff. Yeah, they seem to go quick, the, the FR yeah. stuff. Definitely area. I don't know yeah. if I've sold a lot of Carhartt. This is Arizona Jean Co. Boys. So I did get some like kids jeans, which are a little bit heavy, but they have these um, on the sign at Once Upon a Child that their most wanted items is just jeans. So yeah. they've been taking all the jeans. I buy them. They probably give me $3 for this, which I probably pay close to two, but that's okay. This I might try on. It's uh, the Vermont Country Store. It's just a cute little fleece pullover. Sounds fancy. Yeah. I've always wanted them. to go to Vermont. I sold a Moomoo of this brand recently. Yeah. Anybody from Vermont? <laughs> try to convince us to go to Vermont. <laughs> I don't think it would be too hard. <laughs> I don't know if these are... I mean, they just got these for Connor. I'd, just for like an under pant, like a fleecy, like snow type pant. I don't need, they might be adult, but they look like they would fit him, so I just got those for him. Um, this is Torrid, like a buffalo plaid. Nice. Um, yeah. Spice Spice Tray. Spice Um, Target Cat and Jack for Once Upon a Child. This is Orvis, men's just button up, nothing special. It's just cotton, not wool or anything, mm -hmm. but. I just like the brand Orvis. This isn't a special piece, so maybe 20 bucks, but yeah. it usually sells pretty well. I'll probably have to list that. I don't think I still trade with tickets too basic. Did you make a sale? No. <laughs> I'm being reminded that my Doc Martens Wonder Balsam that I'm watching is ending soon. <laughs> We're almost <laughs> out of ours, and yeah. I guess they don't make that kind anymore, which we found one on eBay for like yeah, probably I'll twice see. as much as it's over there. One more. I behind that hat. 
He's left it open too. Is it? Oops. <laughs> I was. Yeah, we've got the silver can, which this was made with. I think it's like uh, coconut oil or something. And now the one that they use, the one that they make is, it's a synthetic oil. It's not a natural. I think it works the same, but. So we were looking for that one on eBay and there's like one buzz. Yeah. One and I feel like it's twice as much as just buying the newer kind. But that can, yeah. as small as it is, last, I mean, we don't okay. use it religiously or anything, but it lasted five years. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, these are loft, which I generally would pass on, but I felt like they were, they're just a straight style and a size 30, which is decent. So I'm probably going to take those to Uptown Cheapskate first, um, but I can probably get 20 on my own if they don't take them. Uh, this is some boys shorts, Russell brand for Once Upon a Child. This was new at Tags Parks Project. Um... I could probably get 20 or so, but I might just... Big band. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll look it up. Yeah. If it's like 20, I'll probably list it. Um, these are art class, so Target kids jeans. And these are old navy boys. I had a lot of big kids size, so I'm hoping they're going to take them because I don't really want to list them, but I will if I... If I have to, I think that they do want jeans, so they'll probably mm -hmm. take them. And this is Old Navy Power Soft, a girl's little crop top thing. They took one that I brought them the other day, so hopefully they take that. This is very hairy, so I, <laughs> I also... It's I brand new. It's new, but I think I'm going to take off the tag and wash yeah. it. It's not... It's not yeah, like even that looks like somebody's snot or something, so. You think it's yeah. been worn, even though it was? No, but who hmm. knows? I mean, it's just, it's gross, so. Yeah. But these sell really well. It's Wrangler, like, shacket. It has pockets. It's quilt lined. Quilt lined, so, okay. Yeah, I'll list that after I wash it, probably for 30 bucks. Okay. This is a nice men's PFG, size extra large tall. I did not see any flaws, <laughs> so hopefully when I go to list it, I still don't see any, but these usually are a pretty easy 20 bucks. So I'll list that. I mean, the buy sell trade would take it. Yeah. I feel like they only sell these because it's just a shirt for like 12 bucks though. I right. Know. They don't think of it as like a PFG. Yeah. Um, this is women's spider beanie. Super neon pink. I don't know yeah. what color it's coming across. Yeah, it looks pretty accurate. Yeah. <laughs> I might take that to buy sell trade. It's a little pelly. I don't know if they'll take it, but. I can list that for at least 10 bucks probably. And then these are Carhartt FR jeans. So I saw someone throw these back. So I looked them over really well and I don't see any issues. I don't know if they were just worried about weight versus sale price. Yeah. I don't think these go for a ton, but to me, they'll probably sell pretty quickly. What does this tag say? HRC2. I bet that's the, the yeah. fire rating or something. So big size 48. 30. So we should do pretty well, I think. Alright, and then this was just a little. I had the manual in there, but I left the manual because it was kind of heavy. But I've sold the Jeep one of these, so just something huh. to hold your papers. I might need that for my truck. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't know if I have one or not. Okay. Yeah, if you need it. That's fine. I, I have a Nissan truck. I forgot so. you have a Nissan. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, that's, I mean, might be like 50. I feel like I sold the Jeep one for like 15 but yeah essentially that weighed nothing it's just something to bring my average cost of goods down Ugh. this is a lot of clothes is, that was a heavy bag <laughs> it was a heavy bag did you say how much this whole thing's haul cost about 220 220 which is pretty pretty yeah pricey I for a Ben's haul for you I think I said about five and a half maybe close to six hours to yeah. check out, so. This, I did not look up or anything. I just, it didn't really weigh much. It's like a McDonald's, I oh think. Oh my Happy gosh, Nova I remember those. so old, like. It How was it not this, disintegrated? <laughs> this is 1990, so I guess, yeah, about one. That's 24 years I ago, was born or 80, 34 so years ago. That one has deceptive. Jeez. Yeah, so I don't know that it's worth, I just thought it was fun, <laughs> so. What does it, it smell like? Ew. <laughs> It smells like they're fries. Still? It oh my, oh gosh. Smell like 
<laughs> I'll probably list that for something. I don't know what. Um, these are, I'm going to wash them. Although I think these are like stained for good. But mm. that was fine. I was happy. They're Carhartt, but like vintage and flannel lined. So Ooh. USA made. Yeah. Union. So I'm sure maybe like 30. 30. Uh, this is for Once Upon a Child with Navy. I've never took this brand of Once Upon a Child. Took, I'm sure that's the wrong. <laughs> I've never <laughs> taken this brand. Uh, little Lad. Little Lad. I just thought this was a cute That is so though. cute. It's got the elbow pads. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> um, so hopefully they take that, but I'm looking more usually for mall brands, Old Navy, Gap, yeah. stuff like that. Um, yeah, people are always asking what do we take and those are the things I'm usually scared to pick up, like these random brands that are sold at stores that nobody Yeah, that much. not as so, common. Like this is Sam's Club. I don't even know if I'll take this, but I hope they will. It's members mark. Um, this is a welcome new at Tag Hat. It's a little dusty, but I was gonna take that to probably Plato's. Full mesh, yeah. You know, retail 28. I mean, they only sell hats for like eight bucks, but you know, this didn't cost me much. Yeah. So. These are Carter's for Once Upon a Child. Jeez. Um, American Eagle mom jeans. Do you like some jeans with your holes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good gosh. Actually, I have a pair. Last week I tried it, uh, I think three stores now of mom jeans, which they've taken all the mom jeans I brought them, except these ones that I brought them last week. And I think it's because one of the holes literally goes like from here all the way down <laughs> to like here. I, that's the only reason I could see. Um, so anyways. Like I that take those up that mom got in, fight, got in a fight with a weed whacker or something. Um, this is a Disney Spirit jersey, so that's cool. I don't think they go for as much as they used to. This one's just the Walt Disney World. It's not like a cool themed one. But yeah. I want to say this is probably 30 still, maybe, hopefully. So I'm going to list that, but I got to wash it. Um, Polo Ralph Lauren Performance. I might list this. Polo Ralph Lauren stuff just sells. It's just... Bread and butter, you know? Yeah. 20 bucks, probably, off of that. Um, this is L.L. Bean Kids, so that's for Once Upon a Child. Uh, this is for Connor, a little Pokemon shirt. Another Polo Ralph Lauren, this one. I don't know if, I don't think it's the Pima Cotton. It feels really soft. So that one was performance. This one's just like a normal polo. Yeah. So. Probably 20 bucks. I have been taking a lot of Columbia to the bicycle thing and they take most of it, but I might list this one just because I like it. I know you don't like it because it's a teeny tiny. <laughs> I actually floral. don't mind that pattern. <laughs> <laughs> I typically don't like the super yeah. busy. I don't know. I feel like it's more like a camo when you look at it far away. So I liked it. I've never seen one with like the. Yeah, it's an interesting little, piece. Super light, it can be compacted. It's probably weighs like two ounces. I can probably get 25 to 30 bucks for that, so I'm not Maybe like a backpacking yeah. something, rain gear. Huh. Uh, these are Carter's, yeah. Once Upon a Child. This was one of my good finds, although I'm a little bit sadder now that I don't think we can sell it on eBay. So yeah. Well, we can sell it on Posh, hopefully, and, or Mercari. But it's Taylor Swift merch. It's a Swifty um, sweater. Yeah, so we were talking about it on our live. A lot of people were saying bureaus are being sent out for Taylor Swift stuff, so. Yeah. I don't want to risk that really, but I did see comps from like 120 to 150 pre-owned for this. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hopefully I can I mean, still, it should still do okay yeah, on Posh, right? I hope I can get uh, like 100 bucks on Posh at yeah. least. Yeah, so what's the back look like? You're, you drew stars around my stars. Scars. Scars. <laughs> I was like, I don't get it. <laughs> so, cool find. I mean, yeah. I'm always hoping to find something that I can sell for 100 bucks. Yeah. Um, this is a Broncos beanie. I felt like it was a nice one, though. Um, so, like, this is almost like... Oh, yeah. Like, it's like that's an emblem, cool. almost. And then it's fleece-lined. And, like, it has the new air, but, like, printed. It's just, like, a nice hat. So, that's probably at least 10 bucks, though. Um, these, I think I just bought these, they were new. I don't know the brand, but it did say made in the USA. I did look them up. I think it's only like 15, maybe 20 bucks, but okay. that's okay. Those look um, crispy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, the, this is Eddie Bauer. Yeah, women's. It's a very thick flannel. It does have pockets, so I would call this a jacket. Um, so I will probably list that because it's probably at least 20, mm -hmm. and I like a jacket, so. And I like Eddie Bauer. Oh, caught it. Nice catch. That was all. I love finding these little bark box toys. Crazy. What the heck was that? What? Wait a minute, I'm gonna wash them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> He's like, what the? Why'd you just throw at me? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, three of them. These are pre owned. Um, he looks interested. Pre owned, but like not messed up, you know what I mean? Yeah. A little dirty. I will wash them, but I've sold a few lots of these on Posh and eBay for like 20 bucks. I get four or five of them. This one is not. Bark box, but it is new, so I'll probably put that with it. But yeah, little Rudolph. Rudolph. Yeah. You don't are... want this one, huh? I mean, these are old oh. at the bins because I I think Bark box is like <laughs> subscription service, so people are constantly getting one every month, and then they probably get bored of them. So I get them and sell them for forty bucks. Sweet. Yep. He's already over it. He's mm -hmm. a good boy. I didn't look this up, but it was new, so I just grabbed it. Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster Gund, which is a Gund, is a good um, plushy brand, so. Okay. His eye looks messed up, though. So new with defects, but not really new. I won't call him new in my listing, but. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure that's 10 bucks. Gotta push these down. Okay. Oh, this was, I was excited to find this because I have had this on my personal bolo list, but I'm hoping Cozy. to find it in a sweater. Cozy cabin um, flannel. Well, oh Keel, the brand. Keel, Kyle. Kyle. Keel, Keel James, Kyle James, maybe. Yeah, I don't know how you say that. Kyle. James Patrick. Anyways, yeah, this flannel will probably be like thirty-ish, but if you find the sweaters, those are like eighty, hundred. Depends what the pattern is, but yeah. So Bolo, that brand, the okay. is really good on it. So I'm gonna list that one. Uh, this, I think I just got these from you. I like having these little things all oh, around yeah. the house, so. Um, this is Burton. Burton. Yeah. The snowboard. Snowboard. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's men's or women's, but. It's cool, it's like uh, quilted on the inside. Do you think it's women's? Cause it's, yeah, it does have that bottom and like Yeah, that's, ladies that's a women's button, yeah. Even on a Henley would be. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, either way, it's that's a cool sweater. That is I like cool. that most. That I'm sure that's thirty, maybe even a little more. Uh, this I saw somebody throw this build a bear back, and the bear was just a plain bear, like not what is this Darth Vader. Uh, yeah. So I think build a bear has a Darth Vader bear, but yeah, this was just the plain bear, like that. If you just got the bear, the, that bear is like ten bucks. Yeah. Um. So they threw it back probably because they might have looked up just bear. Yeah. I don't think that the costume's gonna go for that much, but it doesn't cost much, you know what I mean? So yeah. I shipped the bear and just took the costume and left the bear. <laughs> yeah. Has it? I think they have a pill for that. <laughs> <laughs> Your lightsaber, man. <laughs> so I'll list that. I mean, this might be like 15 bucks. Yeah. <clears throat> um, check this, but I didn't see any like holes or anything. I think it's in pretty decent shape. I mean, Use like this normal cool. wear and tear, but Koto Bexy backpack. I don't really hike, although I want to start hiking. <laughs> Does this hiking. make you want to hike? I did myself some hiking boots the other day. Yeah. I do want to hike this uh, spring summer. Yeah, we've got some pretty like not really hiking hiking trails here yeah. near our house. Because like, I want to bring the kids, and I'm too scared to let yeah. them go. <laughs> too too high. Yeah. So Plus, if we ever take this would guy. I look cool wearing this to a hike. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a kindergartner you guys going to his face when he said, oh, yeah. I know that. I love like this color block. Like yeah. I like Cotopaxi stuff. So I don't know. I might use that for a little bit, but this is probably over fifty pre owned, I would say. The sell through oh, did I tell you it was like three hundred percent on Yeah, you were and telling I just me last night. Cotopaxi backpack, yeah. All the buckles are okay and stuff? I think so. It's got a lot of them. Yeah, this was right next to some kids that were, <laughs> were just looking for vintage tees. I was like, okay, I'll take that. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, so that, the Taylor Swift. I'm trying to think if I have one more pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I do have another cool find, I think. So stay I tuned, guys. I feel like I've, I mean, a lot of this is cool finds. You know, yeah. Considering I'm paying next to nothing for it. Right. 
That's the coolest thing <laughs> about it. This is Toad & Co. Oh, I didn't notice I had, had some snags. That's okay. I mean, I'll still list it. Yeah. Little That's minor okay. ones here. That's kind of a lot of snags, actually. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, maybe like 10 bucks. This probably would have been like 20 I mean, this kind of so. stuff we might be able to pull through. Yeah. No, to the back. <laughs> So, I'll do a while nice... sitting watching some <laughs> some TV or Maybe, something. Okay. It was a nice thick flannel. I just didn't look it over well enough. But Toad & Co. I like the brand. It's bread and butter for me. All right. Oh, this was Nike Golf, which I like finding Nike Golf because they don't make it anymore. So it usually sells pretty well. I think this is women's. I don't know. I got, yeah, I think yeah, it's based it flares on the out sleeves. The hips. Yeah. So I would assume this is like 20. I'll probably list that. It's just a this is new at Tag American Eagle, but um, they are a very small size, 25 or zero. And they're the jigging style, which I feel like they don't like jigging style at the buy sell trades. These are from 2022. They've only been saying to me when they pass on stuff if it's pre 2020. So mm -hmm. they might take okay. those, but they'd only give me like four bucks. <laughs> so I could probably list these for at least 20, even though they're zero. So I might just because they're new. If these are pre owned, I would definitely take them. Yeah. The sell through on size zero is just not good, but I'll check them out and then decide. Uh, this is art class, so Target little kids romper for Once Upon a Child. These are Lauren Rothorn? Yeah. Women's like, Lauren plaid. Lauren Rothorn? Just like a plaid pant. So nice. I think I will list these probably for 25 or so. If the prices are different, <laughs> then I'm telling you it's just because I looked up comps. You yeah. Know, changed. This, I probably should have just left this, but it was new, so I had to get it. It's Aero, it's Aeropasta. I'm never going to say that, right? I don't know. Aeropasta. I need to watch, like, a, like a YouTube how to say that Yeah, again. and then we'll forget. And then I know. We'll say it our own way anyway. So just, like, a super soft Sherpa line vest thing. I don't know that I can sell that for much. I might just give that to my sell trade, though. This is Walmart Wonder Nation, little rush guard for Once Upon a Child. Uh, this I just like camo stuff. It's not super cool. Mossy oak. Mossy oak. They were a larger size. I'm in 44 to 46. Okay. So. I'm These look like this. legitimate yeah, camos. Yeah, they're cargo, which is cool. And they have the like center things at the yeah. ankle. So I think that's probably at least 20 bucks. I just got these because they were new. <laughs> they were clearance to $3 at probably Marshalls or something. Yeah. What are these? Napkins, like table cloth napkins. I'll probably list them, not for much. Mm -hmm. So, okay. 10 bucks, I don't know. 10 bucks maybe <laughs> for some napkins? Uh, these are Can Can, but for Maurice's, yeah, size 24, so small size. The buy sell trade has not. Um, these have a snag! <laughs> How do I keep missing it? That's okay. Just that put a one, hole in the knee. That one you could probably do the. Yeah, pull through. So. I might be able to get 15 or so out of those, though. Uh, the Walmart. Uh-oh. What, did I drop some? You dropped a little homie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, I think it is. This is a uh, Walmart little bathing suit for Once Upon a Town. Guys, I think it is. I Google lensed it. A little homie? <laughs> you guys remember these? If you're old like us, it's they were like in the little coin dispenser where you yeah. get like gum balls and stuff. They'd yeah. be at like arcades. I remember. I specifically yeah, remember them being really at what it, little homie, little homie, or, or little him. homie maybe. Cry baby. Is he wearing, holding a bottle? <laughs> <laughs> Literally holding a bottle. Sixty-two listed. Eight sold. So not a very good sell to me. <laughs> Yeah, but pre-owned five dollars, four dollars. I mean, I know that's not that like much, five eighteen. But yeah. like, just for this, cost nothing. I'll yeah. put them on my shelf in my it's, retro yeah, room. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> I remember getting those. I remember <laughs> never getting them because my mom never gave me any coins for those <laughs> dispensers. But I remember always seeing them yeah. and kids. I only wanted those in the sticker ones or like the tattoos. Yeah. Oh yeah. The <laughs> like the dragon like foil stickers and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, these. These, this is a little Nike shirt for Once Upon a Child. And this is Old Navy Girls for Once Upon a Child. This is Old Navy, yeah, Once Upon a Child. 
these. I mean, they're keeping for Sai or taking them once upon a child. Little Hurley swim chunks. He has a lot of swim chunks, but. Um, this is soft surroundings. Plus velvet shirt. I kind of like that. I'll probably list this on my own. Very soft. I'm sure it's about 20 or so. Okay. Yeah. Is this the last oh, one? Is it? You got <laughs> two more? I know. So is We're it... about 35 minutes in. Okay. I feel like the You're good. Yeah. You're good. Since we did a half a. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Uh, what's old? <laughs> what's it called? What do we do here? <laughs> <laughs> I found this bag there to carry my stuff. Oop. What was this been? Oh, that's for shoes, which I think I have shoes in here. Okay. The empty bin? Yeah. Uh, this is a Scentsy Buddy. I did not look it up. It's kind of... Well, I guess he said it's okay. Yeah. I'm sure it's something. Maybe not much anymore. Hopefully 10 bucks at least. You use these sometimes, right? Oh, like, yeah. Skyrim it's stick. Inside, so yeah. It's still in plastic. So, might as well. It's great for scrubbing. Um, this. this is Cabela's. I'm just putting that stuff there so it doesn't fall off. I feel like I found a lot of button-ups, which I don't love button-ups, but the brands I found, yeah, still has this, so I feel like it might be almost like new without tag. Okay. I'm just gonna throw that one, but it's in very good shape. It feels pretty crispy still, so, and it's a 2XL tall, so I do think I can probably get probably 20 bucks out of that. Okay. Oh, that was this. Which is Also Cabela's, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I kind of tried to look it up, but I didn't really know. Yeah, one I could look it up more, but uh, worst case scenario, I'll just yeah, keep it. It was worth more than I paid for it at the bin, so. I don't have really much. Kathy's been getting me like old lures and stuff. I'd like to, it'd be cool to build like a fishing set from thrifting and bins and stuff. Yeah. So we'll see. I might end up keeping that. <laughs> uh, this is just an avalanche shirt, but new. I'm hoping the bicycle tree takes it, but they might not. I can probably only get maybe 10 bucks if I have to sell that. Yeah. Oh, this is a little Target sports bra. I was going to try that on. Uh, these Nike shorts just looked like a cooler pair of Nike shorts. So I almost left them just because they're not in amazing shape. I mean, they're just dingy along the red. I don't know if the camera would pick that up, but just kind of dingy. Yeah. The waistband, it's not stretched. Just these waistbands just look kind of funny after like a wear or two, but... They're not in bad shape. Yeah, you know, there was only a couple listed in it. Like the sell through on this, at least when I typed in the Nike model number, it was close to 100%, but that doesn't mean, that's when I typed in the model number. Some people could just list them as Nike shorts. Yeah. Anyways, they seemed like a cool pair. The pre-owned solds were, there was some for 25 and then some for like 49. So hopefully at least Between 25. Them? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna wash them, they're dirty, but I'm gonna list those on my own. Oh, yeah, this is what I was telling you about in the live. Yeah. So I sold a similar one, a different brand, a couple months ago for close to 50. That one was like Circle something ranch. but Circle ranch. This is just... Taos country? Yeah. Which I did look these up in the USA. Um, I think this is 40 to 50 again, so... Yeah, just this style. Like a Western. Well, yeah. yeah. So I'll definitely miss that. The guy definitely wears a cowboy hat to yeah. church. <laughs> Big belt buckle. <laughs> um, I'll probably list these on my own. They're Abercrombie, baggy, and a large size women 16. So, yeah. Probably at least 30 out of those. Is this a switch case? It feels really cheap. Uh, no, I think it's too small. Okay. Too small Maybe for a switch. A Maybe little... Game Boy? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I just got this for Connor, but. Yeah. He might just put some Pokemon cards in there or something. Take them. Traveling Pokemon card holder. <laughs> He'll find something to do with it. Uh, this was American Eagle. It's just, I think, like a men's. Um, I don't know why it has these straps, but. Like a toiletry bag. Yeah. I mean, I guess it could be women. I don't know. Hanging over a shower head. I bet this, oh, I don't know. It does say American Eagle on it. Okay, so it, it is supposed to go with it. Right. I don't know, I just got it because why not? Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's for our kids to have for travel or something. Yeah. I don't know. I'll see if it's worth 10 bucks, I might list it, but this is so cute, just a little pinky bro hat. I'll list this, toddler size. Corduroy hat. Pinky bro. Yeah. <laughs> huh. I don't know, 
them. And this I got for our kids. I think I'm just going to cut off the palm. It looks kind of weird, but they'll love that. Some dangly. Um, this, so I've been hearing about this brand. I'm trying to remember. I think Mogi Beth maybe, but also... <laughs> A nice monkey <laughs> feet. <laughs> so Mogi Beth? I think so. I've never heard of the brand. Let's see here. Cozy. Um, this is just a bag and it's kind of dirty because it was white in the bins, but it. Cozy Earth. Yeah. Canvas bag. Yeah. So natural materials. Right, little stain there. I wanna. You could cut out this part. I'm gonna look it up really fast though. Okay. Cozy Earth. Tote. Forty-two listed, eight sold. That's just the bag, though. When I say tote, I feel like the brand in general is good. I feel like this could even just be a free with purchase type thing. I'm not mm. exactly sure. Let me just look up the brand. Cozy Earth. What do they typically sell? Right, I don't know. Um. Eh. Yeah. So the brand in general, when I just type Cozy Earth into eBay, three hundred listed that's without like filtering anything down 354 sold so the brand in general has a over 100 sell through okay it just seems like very basic like natural i mean like i mean these are pajamas but like pajama sets for like 80 to 100 dollars oh, there's that bag right there yeah that well that's a different one i think this is four piece sheet set so maybe a oh. sheet set was in here oh people are just selling the bag i see i was thinking this was like a free with purchase type thing so I didn't expect much for it, but I mostly wanted to just tell you guys about the brand because okay. I um, was excited to find it after hearing about it. And Look at that sheet set. Hmm. So it, it was a bag for a sheet set. So, but yeah, definitely follow the clothing of this brand. Yeah. I've been looking for it. I have not found and it. And the sheets, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you find the sheets. So just probably really nice material stuff. I, I think I might still list this. Yeah. Somebody I mean, it does not look like a sheet bag. No. You know? Yeah, that's a cute little tote. It even has a zipper top, so I'm sure I can get 10, 20 bucks. In it's bag. actually kind of cool that they, it's yeah. like a fully useful. useful bag afterwards. Okay, that was that. This was from my new Ben's friend, Steven. Um, I've been going to the Ben's a lot now, so I'm finally starting to recognize people. Yeah. And I sometimes will be like, hey, what's your name? <laughs> After, you know, <laughs> usually like do little small chit chats. Yeah. And they're like finding anything good, stuff like that. So. How do you like this weather right. we're having? <laughs> <laughs> so he just, I was sorting my cart and his was next to mine. And he just said, do I want this? I was like, sure. So it's Oakley. It seems like it might've been like a golf something or other. I like selling Oakley stuff, so. Okay. I'll probably Pro miss that. I don't know that it's worth a whole lot. Hopefully 20 bucks, but. I like making Ben's friends, so yeah. that's fun. This was a cool find I shared on my Instagram. It's not in great shape, so I don't know what it's gonna sell for, but the brand is Nina & Co. I actually have a wallet for myself by this brand, so that's kind of how I knew about it. I don't know, I feel like I've heard about it from some kiddos and friends like years ago, mm. but it's just like really nice heavily embroidered pieces and then like leather so yeah. like all the embroidery is kind of pulling though mm -hmm. so i'll have to clean it up somehow so, like not nice flexible right. leather but these are like i think new 300 plus so um hopefully i can get like 50 bucks if i can clean it up a bit okay um so yeah no money in it? There wasn't. I did find three dollars or selling change at the bin. Hey! I didn't spend it. I just put it as part of my haul. Though. Like, I just gave it to them. Can I put three dollars? Because it was like a bunch of quarters. I didn't want to keep carrying them yeah. around. So. Can this money that I found go towards <laughs> the haul that I'm buying? Yeah. I guess I technically did steal then, huh? Because I didn't put that in my haul to like pay for. You, you kind of double I stole. Did. No, I'm just kidding. Well, like it's last three time bucks. the cash I did actually put because I felt bad, but then I did. Yeah. That's all right. So that was a cool find. Uh, definitely look out for that brand, Nina & Co. Um, this, I've sold this brand. This is new at Tide though. I don't know how you say that. I don't remember. Um, I don't know what money this is in, but where was it I saw? Was it like? Right here? No, that's the color. Like on the back of that? I swear I saw something that said like a ridiculous price. But I know it wasn't like US dollars. Yeah. Oh well. Um, 
not gonna be able to let it go. So this is just like a nice wool jacket. Uh, I feel like I've sold my pre-owned pieces around 40, so hopefully a little more than that at least. Okay. So. It looks German to me, the, the name, but I, I don't know. I mean, it's made in Austria. So. Austrian, okay. Uh, this is Under Armour for Once Upon a Child. I feel like I have a lot in my list myself been today, yeah. which hasn't been the case the last few times. Uh, this is Smart Wool. It does need like a pill, although I might just list it as is like a kid's beanie, but Smart Wool. And it is reversible. reversible. This side's a lot more better condition. Uh, I'm just kidding. This might be a... I'm going to wash this. Yeah. I don't know that I should, but I'm going to. <laughs> oh, this is new attack Carters for Once Upon a Child. Um, what else? Champion for Once Upon a Child. Ninja Turtles for them. This is just a basic Walmart Wonder Nation shirt for Once Upon a Child. Cool. These I was going to try on. They're just airy, some just like lounge waffle joggers. So, yeah. Nice. Um, this I saw someone throw back. I don't see anything wrong with it though, so I did grab it. I don't know. If, I mean, it has someone's ski tag on it. Powderhorn Mountain Resort. So, ski tag. Oh, sorry. I'll wear out that name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I mean, it's Cabela's, like a nice zip in. With the fleece. Yeah, with the liner. I mean, it needs a wash, but I don't, I mean, I didn't see any, like, fraying on the cuffs or anything. <laughs> so, I mean, this is probably a decent little sale. Yeah. I want to say 50 plus probably on this. Sweet. So. She must have been a great skier. <laughs> didn't fall down. Oh, I don't know the other <laughs> so I that? found, well, just in case our kids lose theirs. Not oh. to like, I, this is literally, I pulled it off a one where oh, I there you, go, yeah. You <laughs> so, um, I would have got the uniform too, just as a backup for yeah. kids, but it was like a grown up size one. I got like two of these, but. Okay. So like when they go to comp, what is it? Not conference, like, um. Tournaments, yeah. yeah. They get this just for going, which they have two of them, but sometimes they you look have like to they're get about it. to fall off. So. Yeah. Like, I need to actually <laughs> sew them on. Yeah, they're them iron on. sewed on, so I did. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so they have to have four of these stars their before they can test for their black belts. So they only happen maybe like two a year. Twice. Yeah. So our boys have two stars, which we have not put the second one on yet. And they may very well have lost <laughs> them because we've left them in their care. This is, so the rest I think is shoes after okay. this. Got us some dominoes with Mexican trains. Some more dominoes. Actually, we so, have that set. Do we? I wasn't sure. But I'm sure it's part. missing some, so right. hopefully we can <laughs> make so a full set between cents. them. I like playing this game. Yeah, Mexican. That's a fun game, yeah. Mexican train. Um, so these I found, like, literally as I was walking out, I think someone threw them back because they were on top of, like, a clothing bin. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't see anything wrong with them. This is Montana West. I don't know the brand. It feels... I can't see anywhere that it says leather, but it feels like real leather and it feels like buttery soft leather. Yeah. It does it, why I think it's real is because you know how like, like those faux leather get all kind of yeah. chipping out. It's not doing that anywhere. It's really in good condition. Um, I don't think it's gonna sell for a ton, maybe like between 25 to 50. Wow. It's a nice little backpack. And I've been doing well with just random leather goods like this. Yeah. So I'm gonna list that. And then this was next to it. I cannot find anything at all about this on even on Google. Not like no comps on eBay. Bosh. I was born. Was born leather workshop. Even when I type that in Google, nothing is coming up. Like I'm imagining it's a handmade type, maybe small shop. But like you think something would come up, right? Right. I can't find anything, and so I don't know. But feel this. Do you think it's real leather? I mean, that's really nice. Yeah. So I feel like this was probably very expensive new. I just don't know that I'm gonna be able to sell it for much because nobody probably knows what it is. So hmm. I don't know. I, I thought it was nice even to just keep though. Like it has a bunch of little pockets and card holders. So. Yeah. I'm hoping, I mean, this could be some random cool $50 plus sale, but it could also be nothing. Yeah. But I took a chance because it also weighs hardly anything. For sure. And it's real leather. Yeah. Um, this is American Eagle Young Money collaboration. <laughs> this little fanny pack. It had a little dirt here. I'm gonna try to wipe it and maybe take that to Plato's. 
Um, this is a CPAC bag, I think, right? <laughs> Resmed. I found like a yeah. black one a couple weeks ago. I need to still list that. I washed it. This one looks nicer though. The black one seemed a little bit older. This oh, yeah. Has yeah. Papers. I'm gonna throw the papers away, but anyways. It's got some parts and stuff. Does it have like any of those masks that you mm -hmm. things? I think that was the same brand you had. So anyways, I mean I hope the bag's worth like twenty bucks. We'll yeah. <laughs> that. Um, I'm going to put it here because my, I lift myself thin as well. <laughs> this was a cool find, I think, I hope. Okay, so. Oh, like the. This is super heavy. So oh, I, is it weighted? Yes. I thought it was like football pads or something. Mm -hmm. So it's weights. Yes. For training. So I paid $8 for this because it's, I don't know how much it weighs, but it's really heavy. Um, so they just charged me the standard $8 price. And I said that was fine because I saw some comps between 75 to 100. Yeah. Um, with the weights included. Like some people were selling just the shirt without the weights. Because they could like be removed, it looks like. To 40. Yeah. Slide out. But um, so I was Googling about this last night. I've never heard of it. There's not a ton listed or sold. I mean, the seller's good, but like there's just not much. I think there was like four things listed on eBay currently. Mm. So I was Googling about it. I saw one of the listings said Shark Tank, so that always, like, I'm like oh, oh, that's probably yeah. a good thing then. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it seemed like they went out of business in maybe 2021, though, or 2022. Mm. They did have a deal with Damon, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, it seemed like they got an even better deal after the fact. Like, he made them a deal on the show and then went up Revamped after. It. Yeah. But then I think they got a lawsuit or something based on, what is it called when you're, like, stealing someone's idea? Um property just something like that like, trademark infringement yeah or something. maybe like something about the trade yeah so or somebody pat else's design yeah patent. like a patent thing i they think broke was patent it. Or something. so they went out of business so i don't think the deal ended up Dang. being that good but it does seem like people like the thing yeah so they are still selling and the article i was reading says the only place you can find them now is secondhand markets secondhand ebay poshmark and stuff so so it has weights on the back too yeah and they're all there right yeah Sweet. Yeah, so this might hopefully be like a hundred bucks. That'd be cool. Yeah. So bolo, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I would probably call it a bolo, but we'll let you know when we sell it. Hopefully it will let you know. Shoes. And I got this dress. Just a little target broke. Okay. It seemed like it was in good shape. So. I think we kind of need one by the front door. Yeah. Um, these are just modest shoes. I don't think they retail for much. Probably also don't resell for much, but since they were new. Mm. Um, they were $38.39, so that's like a one with eight and nine. I wanted to maybe take these ones when I'm child, but I think they stopped taking out a seven. Mm. But since I'm going, I might as well just put them in there and see if they'll take them. Yeah. Uh, these are little Carter's sandals for Once Upon a Child. Okay. These are some kids' Maui and Sons water shoes. Uh, these are some kids cat and jack boots for once upon a child and some mini flip-flops and some walmart sandals all going to once upon yeah, a child I love those these are target kid sandals for them um these i will list on my own they're kids but nike soccer cleats i've sold this type for like close to 30 bucks a few times so yeah they need a wash though uh, these are BZ, so I will list these probably around 30. Uh, someone threw these back. I like selling cycling shoes, so I grabbed them. And they got the cleats on them. Uh, no. Yeah, these had the cleats, so. Sometimes they don't have those, right. so that's... I feel like they're worth a little more when they do. I mean, you could sell them without, but most people don't mm -hmm. just have them. So. These are probably... Hopefully close to 40, 30 to 40. Yeah, hey, not bad. These are just BOC, but really good shape. Probably 15 to 20. These are super dirty, but I'm gonna wash them. They're keen. And I think this footbed that is super dirty is just like, um, oh, that's rubber. Okay. I was thinking it was like this stretchy material, which should wash out pretty well, but mm -hmm. it's, it should wash out. I mean, the treads are good. I don't think they've been worn a ton, just dirt, so. Some men's snook. These are probably around 20, 25. Got some little baby Kamek snow boots. I would normally sell these on my own, but they're six, size six, toddler. Mm -hmm. 
I feel like if they were like over like a seven, this is still when the baby's like not really walking. Sometimes, they, I mean, they could be walking, but yeah. I don't know. I feel like eight and up is better, so I might just take those to once upon a child. Um, these are some Hurley shoes. They're in really good shape. I might need to wipe down the rubber. I might try those at Play-Dohs. Otherwise, maybe 15 to 20 on my own. Oh, these are some kids Birkenstocks, so I'll probably list these. Um, yeah. Some baby Birkies. Luckily, yeah. These always, the plastic ones, the size always rubs off, but they have it printed here if you did not know that on the plastic ones, so. Nice. Yeah, so it's 33. So yeah, these are probably 20 bucks. I'm gonna wash them. Um, these Sorrells, though, I will list on my own. These are a little bit of a bigger toddler size. A 10, yeah. These should sell 25 to 30. Got some Crocs. Just pink women seven. Those are probably 25 or so. Sweet. These I was debating listing on my own. They are Sea Kai Run. Smaller by Sea Kai Run. These are so expensive new. Mm. I think I can get 15 bucks, so I might list those versus take them to once upon a child. I'll probably list them now. Yeah. Um, these, Long Tall Sally. I don't know this brand, but I actually saw these at a normal Goodwill the other day and I almost bought them, but then I was like, I don't know the brand. Like I did look these up exact ones or these this ones. brand? Yeah, they were just at the Constitution oh, Goodwill. Oh, okay. yeah. Um, so yeah, I was gonna buy them. I think I looked up comps then. I want to say they were maybe around 30, mm -hmm. which didn't feel good enough at this time. Now that I've been going to bins more right. before, I would have been like eight into 30 is great, but yeah, now it's just yeah. okay. <laughs> so anyways, I'm glad to find them at the bins. Um, I did notice, like they seem, like the biggest shoe of women's I ever sold, I think is a 12. So I was looking at these. These and do look these pretty big. look like they're a 14. So I didn't okay. even know that existed. So yeah. kind of excited to try to see <laughs> yeah. if that, you know, the women's 12s I've sold, I feel like have sold pretty quickly. Yeah. It's probably just not a lot available. So let me know, have you guys sold a 14 or even like a 13 right. women's? So it could sell fast, it could sit for a year, but it'll yeah. be a fun trial either way. I would imagine that women that have feet that size have a very hard time finding shoes, so. Right, and I feel like Mary Janes are just having a, a moment. So yeah. I was hoping those would do well based oh. on that. All right, what do we got? Um, children's Place, new attack for once upon a child. These little keys I'll sell on my own. These usually sell pretty well, around 20 bucks or so. I like that color. It's like a, almost like a see-through green. Mm-hmm. So, like those. Uh, these, I actually have these sandals for myself and I like them a lot. Um, I might even just keep these as a <laughs> backup. They're just rock port. They're just very comfortable. Otherwise, maybe like 20 bucks. Okay. Um, we got some Toms, Christmas, probably 20 bucks. Shout out Camille, who gave me these little kid sketchers. So I'm gonna take them to Once Upon a Child. Thanks, Camille. Thanks, Ben's friends. <laughs> Kathy's making all these friends. I know. I used to be too scared to talk to anyone. <laughs> now a lot of people will say hi to me, which it makes it easier. Yeah. So yeah, if you ever see me, please say hi. I don't think that I don't wanna say hi or something. <laughs> Um, yeah, these are actually both Eddie Bauer. They are both dirty though, so I'm gonna wash them and then take them to once upon a child. And those you're just tossing in the washing yeah, machine. Yeah, that's, yeah. Um, I was talking about these on our live last night. They're Tommy Hilfiger, like vintage mule. I saw a similar comp for like 60. I was thinking when I got them at least 30 probably, just like a Y2K style. It was a real wood base. Yeah, I think yeah. so. It looked like it. It's got the wood yeah. grain, at least. So, those are cool. Yeah. Um, got some Tiva, like a little wedge, probably twenty to thirty. Uh, these are Picolinos, which I love this brand. These are a cute style too. I'm hoping these are like forty to fifty. So, love those. These, I think I was just gonna see if Connor wants some just kids Nike that need a wash, but. Not a horrible shape, so he runs his shoes at school in like one day. So those are perfect. <laughs> this I figured they could just play with it. That Rubik's cute, but like Christmas tree. That's cool. Yeah. So. Is it? Is this supposed to be like a? Cute, like it a makes me think of like an air freshener in your car. 
Like those tiny trees. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I might hang that in my truck. <laughs> it's probably going to bang around and like be all <laughs> The ultimate nerd air freshener. <laughs> and then uh, I was very happy to find these. And actually, I only found one. And I was about to toss it back. And then a lady comes up to me and she's like, you have the shoe, right? And I was like, oh, I do. Do you want it? I, I usually just give it. I don't like doing the flip a coin or whatever yeah. thing. She's like, no, I don't want it. I just got, I just saw that you had it. And <laughs> she gave oh. me the other one. So I was like, oh. Making okay, more friends. Look at that. <laughs> That was very nice. These yeah. are Saucony. I didn't look up this exact model, but these types usually go for like 50 bucks. Yeah, so. those look like nice yeah, ones. Yeah, I think those will do well. So yeah, all of that, I paid around 220 for everything. That's it? Yeah. All we have, we got rubber bands MD, in there. MD. Sweet. Yeah. Looks like we're <laughs> right at about an hour, so. Guys, man, that was a long one. Thanks. Thank you so much for hanging out till the end. And you know, if it seems too long, I know this is way too late to say it, but <laughs> just watch half now, half later. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out and letting Kathy share her finds with you. It's lunchtime, and we gotta go. We got our. We have a science fair to go to, so we're gonna go do all that, <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.